going, Bella Gang? It's your girl, Lover Natural, back at it again with another juicy video. Bella Gang, best friends. In this juicy video, I'm gonna be telling you, okay, five facts about me that you probably would never guess. You know, I feel like, honestly, I want to do this type of video because I want you guys to get to know me better, sis. Like, I want you guys to get to know me. Um, As my channel is growing and I'm getting a lot of new subscribers, I just want you guys to, you know, just know random facts about me like i don't know i just want to do random videos about me um i'm the type of person if you guys you know already don't know i'm pretty open about me like i don't know it's crazy because my mom named me Paige. is that because like you know like i'm like a book where you could just find stuff out i'm like an open book no i'm like an open book yeah <laughs> that was so freaking corny like i literally took like 30 seconds just to whatever but seriously i'm 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 like an open book and it's like i just love who you want who you like baby tell me who you love last time i checked it was me but you bugging okay bella gang so number one five random facts that you probably would never have guessed about me number one i wrote this down i put this as number one because i absolutely hate people that do this like it's a i don't know if it's a pet peeve or a phobia but i cannot stand when somebody drives fast like comment below if you agree with me i don't know it's because you know what i think this phobia or pet peeve started like when um i had a close friend of mine that passed away in a car accident and his ass used to be speeding you know driving real fast and crazy and that was the cause of his death like he got into a crazy accident where he plunged out like his whole like he his whole body like came through the windshield and he just instantly died you know what i'm saying so that opened my eyes and you know it, it makes me extra cautious like take extra precautions when i'm in a car so when somebody's even playing around like because they know that i don't like people dri that drive fast even if they're playing around like oh you don't like this da -da -da, like that will make me cut you off like like seriously like i don't care like how petty that is to cut you off for that because why are you playing with me you know like i hate when somebody tell you that they scared of something and then they do it like let's say somebody's scared of feet and then you want to put their feet all them all over them you know what i'm saying putting them into a freaking like phobia panic attack like why do that like you know it's just so stupid but i really just hate uh people that drive fast i myself you know i still don't get my license yet and part of the reason why i still didn't get my license yet which is another fact you'll know about me i got my permit but i don't got my license and i and the, the reason why i feel like i never got my license and was eager to drive like that is be, is because like i don't know i'm just scared of driving i feel i'm scared of people i hate being in the car with people driving fast like the whole driving experience is just really um just too much for me like but you know i'm gonna snap out of it because huh, i'm I'm getting of that age i need a car like i spend too much money on lifts and ubers everywhere like no you know what i'm saying but um yeah i'm just really nervous when people drive fast next to me because you know what i'm saying no matter how in control you feel like like no matter how well you think you can drive like you never know what can happen you know what i'm saying you could be driving you could be the one in right away you could be the one like not in the wrong you know just driving straight across and the car just boom like t-bone your ass or because you know you're driving fast and you couldn't stop in time like you know what i'm saying driving even people that text and drive with me like i get so upset about like if you want to kill yourself go kill yourself but don't text and drive with me don't take no snaps no selfies you know what i'm saying maybe at the red light you could do that but come on like it's 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 a it's not a game like texting and driving leads to a lot of deaths that like un un unnecessary deaths you know what i'm saying why am i saying deaths like that i have a lift y'all i'm sorry i can't speak well today but yeah it's like I don't like people that drive fast. I don't like people that text with me fast. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to get my license soon, guys. I promise. But, you know, it's just like driving just really scary to me. So comment below if you feel the same way as I do. Like, I don't know. And then I failed my road test two times because I was just so nervous. But now I'm, you know, taking my driving lessons over right now. And, you know, I, I got way better. Like, I could tell my sister, let me get your car real quick. Let me just drive over here. And I could do that before you you would never catch me dead behind a wheel you know what i'm saying because it's just so i don't know I, it's, I, that's just a random fact about me guys that nobody knows i petrify the people that drive fast i don't like driving i didn't have no interest of driving but now i'm gonna start driving because i'm trying to move to atlanta and in atlanta you need a car okay all right um number two five facts about me you would never guess number two is you're probably going to be very shocked by number two. Number two is, 
I don't take my own advice, which causes me to be getting hurt sometimes. Like, it's crazy because a lot of you guys say, oh my God, like your advice is so on point. Because of you, I got over my ex. I did this. I'm so confident. Da, 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 da. And you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I don't take none of my advice because that's that's OD. Like, girl, you got you give good advice. You need to take your advice. I, I you know, I take my own advice. But when it comes to love, it is so hard because, you know, there's been times where I be telling you guys, like, don't go back to your certain exes. Don't go back to somebody that hurt you. You deserve more. But you know what? Those type of things are easier said than done. Me now, yeah, I don't tolerate, you know, certain things from a man because I know how I want to be treated. But my earlier years, like 18, 19, 20, 21, like, oh, my God. I, I probably got hurt the most during those times because I would know what's best for me. You know, even have I had friends I would give good advice to, but I would be in situations with guys that I really, really loved or thought I was in love. So, you know, I tolerated a lot. And in return, I got freaking hurt. That's why I be going so hard on y'all. Like, listen to my advice. If you don't listen to my advice, you're going to be a hurt chicken. <laughs> Yo, me and these corny, corny ass jokes today. Like, really? Like, hurt chicken? Do chickens really get hurt? Anyway, but, um, <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, like, it's crazy out here. Like, if you don't listen to my, my, my girl talk advice videos, I don't know what to tell you. Because, sis, when I, I, that, when I, when I give you guys my advice, it's because I've been there, done that. I done had any type of F boy there is, plus more. I had the mama's boy. I had the, you know, the only boyfriend that I never had that was, um, I never had was like a domestic violence situation. Thank God for that. Because if that were to happen to me, I would leave the first hit. Because I witnessed somebody close to me getting their ass beat. And that wasn't a good situation to be in. I'm highly, highly, like, I'm highly against domestic violence situations. And if you find yourself in a domestic violence situation, please get out. You don't, I don't want, I don't want you to die over this. <laughs> no dick in the world is worth dying for. Literally. Okay, don't do it. Don't do it, sis. But yeah. Sometimes I don't take my own advice, and but lately, you know, as you get older, you 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 see that nah, you like you have to take your own advice because if not, you're just gonna mentally, you're just gonna be, it's just gonna fuck you up. Like so, I've been trying to you know take more of my advice, I guess you know. But yeah, for the most part, there's some things I tell you guys that I don't that I don't take for myself, and it hurts me at the end, you know. So don't do what I do. Don't do what I do. Take my advice. It's gonna it's gonna help you. Trust me. And a lot of you guys say my advice help you. So I'm if you if you're one of those people who DM me that, I just want to say I love you. And I'm so happy that my advice helped you guys. Okay. Number three. And I hope this video is not boring because I know it's a random five facts about me video. Whatever. <laughs> Number three. I never knew who my father was until I was 21. Well, let me scratch that. I never had a relationship with my father un until I was about 21. So comment below if you wasn't, you, you wasn't raised with your daddy. Sis, I'm with you. And don't mind my nails. You guys know my nails is always on fleek. I'm about, after this video, I'm going to get my nails done. But yeah, um, you're probably like, what? Why haven't you had a relationship with your dad? Well, I'm... The first time I met my dad was when I was nine years old. My mom threw me a surprise party, and he was a surprise. I wanted a goddamn Barbie Jeep, not your ass. But anyways, I was just happy to know, okay, that's my father. He came. We had, like, one little daddy-daughter dance for, like, ten minutes. Then he said goodbye to me, and I didn't see him again until I was 21. And it's crazy because my father, you know, our relationship now, you know, is the father and daughter relationship I always wanted. I feel like I had a lot of daddy issues, which I'm going to do a separate girl talk about daddy issues. Um, I had a lot of daddy issues, and I didn't realize that my daddy issues came from not having no goddamn daddy. You know, you, you know that Tiara Marie song, I ain't have no daddy around when I was growing up. That's why I'm wild and I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's true because, like... You know, you don't think it has an effect on you when you when one parent is absent until you grow up as an adult. I have so many friends like, oh my God, I'm such a daddy's girl and, you know, I love my father. Like, I never had that bond and I'm super jealous of girls that have bonds with their fathers like that. Like, my dad now try to be a father to me, but... You know, it just doesn't really feel as authentic. I'm so grateful for my dad. Don't get me wrong. I love him. But I just feel like his reasoning for not being in my life just wasn't valid for me enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, I'm i celibate now. That's part of the reason why I'm celibate now. Because I would hate to raise my child without a father. I would hate to be a single mother. Even though there's like millions of women out, out here doing it. And it's possible for me to do it. I just want to raise my child in a two-parent home. Because my mom, <laughs> I grew up struggling. Okay? Broke as hell. Okay. 
sorry guys my camera died but um I grew up broke as hell, and I feel like if my, my father was in my life or my mom put his ass on child support, we would have been, like, a little better than what we was, you know what I'm saying? But the struggle helped me a lot. Be, growing up struggling, shoot, it made me a down-to-earth person today. Like, now, I don't I don't ever look down on somebody that don't got shit because I was one of those people that never had stuff but had to make it happen. I had a mom so strong where she made it happen for us. Barely, but I'm alive, and as you guys can see, like, my mom raised me into the queen that I am, and, you know what I'm saying, if I... I was raised like I don't know I don't know I just feel like if I was raised with my father I, pro I probably wouldn't have to have so much heartbreak in my life I would um, know how to deal with certain situations when it comes to guys I would learn not to fall for certain shit that guys say to me you know what I'm saying I wouldn't fall for that shit but me not having a daddy I feel like you know I didn't have a, a first role model you know they say your dad is your first love your dad shows you everything and I'm damn near like <laughs> almost 30 and you in my life like you know it's great and all but I, I wish his ass was there when I was growing up because as a teenager I went through a lot with guys okay he should have been there but, you know what I'm saying, you got to forgive, so I forgive my father or whatever. But I still hold a little resentment to this day because, like I said, his reasoning for not being in my life was fucked up. Like, you know, I, period. So, let's move on. Number four. Number four. This, number four, the, the reason why I'm like this is probably because of all the effed up situations that I had with ex-friends in the past, which made me turn into this person so number four is i'm very very big on loyalty like loyalty to me is everything i don't you could be a hoe you could be like i don't know you could have so many faults about you but if your loyalty to me is a one a hundred percent i'm gonna look past all those flaws because you know in this day and age i don't know if you guys know this maybe i don't know if i'm the only one but comment comment below if you feel the same way like people is just out for themselves nowadays people are just not who they say they are there's a lot of bad intentions bad mind people going around in this earth like it's crazy like i've been in so much like effed up situations with friends so-called friends that i thought that would be in my life for so long that just showed me how disloyal they can be some people really don't know how to be loyal like some friends really don't know how to be loyal and i'm not gonna be the friend to teach you that's some shit that you born with you born to be real okay it's just like if you corny if you corny you can have money you still gonna be corny you know what i'm saying if you don't if you if you're the type of person that doesn't have any type of identity like it you know it, it people can tell because you always try to be like some else you, you know what and that's why i'm just so so grateful that i'm born i was born this way like my loyalty is so crazy where i will hurt my own self just to make sure you okay meaning like let's say i have 20 dollars in my pocket my friend said yo i'm really effed up right now i really need 20 dollars. i will go hungry i'm gonna make sure you you eat I don't know why. That's just the person I am, which hurt me in the end because I've been, you know, having a good heart can put you in a lot of effed up situations. I saw that quote on Facebook and it cannot be more true. Like, I bend over backwards for people that talk crap about me to this day. Don't want, don't want to see me win. Don't want to see me progress to this day. And for that reason, I'm a win. Because God God favors people with good hearts. God favors women that, you know what I'm saying, do stuff about the goodness of your heart and don't have to remind somebody what they do. I'm not going to remind anybody what I do for them. You know what I'm saying? But just know, I'm very solid. So when you go against me as a friend, rest in peace. You're just dead to me. Like, I hold grudges for years. That's another bad thing about me that's not good. It's not good because you got to forgive. It's not like I hold them in my heart like I hate them, but I would never be friends with somebody that hurt, has hurt me in the past. I would have, I would never, like, you know, be that close to somebody that, you know, disrespected me in the past because if they, do it be, if they did it before, most likely they'll do that to your ass again. You know, you can forgive people that hurt you, but you don't got to be buddy-buddy with bitches, okay? Don't because, you know, I, I've, I, I remember being friends with people that I had a fallout with, and we end up having another fallout. Because it's never the same. It's never the same. Comment below if you, if you agree. It's never the same. Just let it go. And, uh, the, you know, the majority of the time, why we even go back to people we had a fallout with, because we missed that connection. We missed that love from that person. But I'm here to tell you, that love is gone. The, the minute somebody betray you, they're always going to betray you. It's, that's why I can't be with a man, like, let's say if I was married, if he cheated on me with multiple women because now you broke my trust you break my trust is no us that goes for men guys or 
my friendships. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, we getting too old to be around disloyal ass people. All right, and my final thing, number five. Number five is, <laughs> this is so stupid, but whatever. It's a random fact about me that you probably would never know. Number five is, I take, since it's, since the holidays is coming, I, I just wanted to throw that in there. I take Thanksgiving, okay? I take Thanksgiving and Christmas very seriously. Like, so seriously. And me and my mom get into arguments every freaking Thanksgiving. Because every Thanksgiving, she's like, oh, I don't feel like cooking. We should just go into a restaurant. Or, like, oh, I don't want to get a tree. You know, this. if you go online, they, they have trees um, already made with the ornaments and stuff like that. It could just be delivered to the house. I'm like, mom, that defeats the freaking purpose of the holidays. And the reason why I love holidays so much is because, like I said, you know, um, there's a lot of people in my life that, that has passed away. There's a, there's a lot of, um, friends that I have whose mom passed away and their holidays is never the same. So I take holidays very seriously because, you know, a lot of people can't enjoy, you know, the company of their loved one because their loved one passed away or, you know what I'm saying, their loved one is in jail or who knows, like, where they cannot be connected with them through the holidays. And in the holidays, you're constantly reminded of family, of unity. And I just feel like, you know... Let, let's be honest um you know a lot of our family members are scattered around so we can you know have um two days thanksgiving and and christmas or or just even thanksgiving if we can have that one day to be reconnected with our aunts our cousins family you know what i'm saying i, I love the fact of you know waking up and because the night before my mom usually sees in a turkey and she she slow cooks it for like eight hours it can be nice and juicy i like you know when i wake up in the morning and i smell the turkey you know what i'm saying and i put on the freaking macy's thanksgiving day parade and you know i'm you know chilling in the living with my little sister and my other sisters and we just watching it and we laughing we even if we all on our phones because my sisters is always on their phones you know what i'm saying i like the company of family i like the nurturing feeling that you get I, it's just like this bubbly feeling you know what i'm saying and i feel like when i have kids one day and my husband um uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna be that wife where i'm i'm cooking all right invite your family invite my mother-in-law over like let's have a big you know i want my, my 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 kids to grow up with a great experience of christmas and thanksgiving like and also like I said, my mom was not big on holidays like that. She feels like it's a waste of money. If you Haitian, you know that Haitian parents don't believe in no holidays like that. Like, especially Halloween. They think it's for the devil. But um, that's just a whole nother video with Haitian moms. But, um, um, yeah, like, yeah, I feel like because growing up, my mom, she, not, she wasn't so big on Christmas because, like, we never really got gifts like that. Because, like I said, we were struggling. She never really had extra money to, to, you know, buy us the gifts that we always wanted. So, me and my sisters, we used to go to the 99 cent store, buy them little $20 trees, and buy our own ornaments and just make our own tradition. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we just exchanged the gifts that we got. Like, I don't know. Like, I just felt like, you know... I don't know why I feel like I want to tear up. Like, I feel like we made the most out of the struggle. You know what I'm saying? I remember I really wanted... I went to my cousin's house in Long Island. She had a Monopoly game. I came home, and I really wanted a Monopoly game. But like I said, my mom couldn't really afford to get us a Monopoly game. So we made that Monopoly game from scratch. We made it out of cord cardboard, and we used to play it. We made... We drew out the whole thing and, um, you know, made a, our own Monopoly game because we couldn't afford a Monopoly game. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, little stuff like that, it just makes me feel humble. And I feel like Christmas and Thanksgiving makes me humble. Being around family, it makes you feel like, yeah, you love your natural. You're a YouTube star. Even if I blow up one day, being around family just brings you back to who you really are. Which I'm not... I, I ain't a fake bitch. Like, what you guys see is what you get. I'm like this in person. But, you know what I'm talking about? Wig off, no makeup on, whatever. Like, your family just embraces you and loves you. And I love family. So, because I'm big on family, I'm big on Thanksgiving and I'm big on Christmas because I like buying gifts and, like, seeing the, 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 the reactions to my family face. I like us praying at the table, going around saying what we thankful for. I'm wasting two... I'm wa like, I don't know. This is, like, going on, like, five minutes of me talking about why I take Thanksgiving and Christmas serious, but I really want to explain why to you guys so you won't think, like, this girl is crazy. But, um, yeah, it's not the holiday itself. It's about spending time with my family. I love being around my family. That's it. And I already see it. I'm going to be that type of mother, smothering as hell, like, you know, strictly, like, on traditions and all of that. Like, I just like it. 
I just like it. You never know how long your family's gonna be around, alive. So you wanna not take take it for granted that God allows us to see another holiday. It's a blessing. Even if I never got gifts, it's just a blessing to see another holiday. So I hope you guys like this video. This was the five facts about me that you probably will have never guessed. I hope you guys like this video. If you want me to do more like get to know me type of videos or a Q and A, um, I think I want to do a Q and A next. But if you want to do, if you want me to do a Q and A, definitely DM me some Q and A questions so I can answer it and shout you out in the video. Okay, so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And just know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Okay, love you guys so much. Until next time.